In this tutorial you will learn how to create trees in Blender very easily. Let's give them also materials and a wind effect and then you can create any tree you would like in just a few simple clicks. Blender comes with a very nifty feature to add these trees automatically. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and then look for a tree. And you need to select this one, Add Curve Sapling Tree Gen. With this selected, delete the default cube, Shift A, but not the mesh, but in Curve you find the sapling tree gen, what we just enabled. Then you can open this box. If you somehow lose this, you can hit F9 on your keyboard to find this again. And then you can look at the presets of the different trees that they have right here. So they are all different kinds of trees that you can start with. And you can tweak this as you like. In this example, I will use the Japanese maple, for example. Now, this is the geometry of this. These are the presets. And let's go to the different settings. For example, the branch radius. You can increase the scale and you can really make it into something weird if you want. Now, let's say you don't know the default value, you can just click here, backspace, enter, and it resets itself. You can also look at the branch splitting, for example. Now, you see when I tweak these values, these change. Same for the branch growth. You can tweak these angles. You can also change the length of the branch. Let's make it a bit smaller than it was. Bit bigger I don't care now you can just tweak as you please I don't change pruning and the leaves let's show the leaves now there are just a few leaves I can increase this instead of minus 5 let's go with 25 or something like that there's our hexagonal we can also change this one but I leave this as is you can tweak the leaf values and the amount if you please the armature we can use to get animations so let's use the armature and make a mesh out of that one and then you go to animation we just created the armature so we can tick this box for the armature animation i also want the leaves animated and to show you in the better render settings you can choose fast preview and then hit the play icon right here and you can see our tree is generated with a wind effect pretty nice so you can also Click this again, so you see our full tree again. Now when you hit the play button, there will be some more lag because it is difficult to render for Blender. And that was very rhymy. Okay, so now you can click next to this. Now let's give this more of materials. Click on the viewport shading icon right here. And let's start with the branch. Click the branch. Okay, material. Click a new material. Base color. Let's set it to something more brownish like this. Then select the leaves and create a material for that. Let's give it more of a green, get a bit darker. Okay, so this is basically how you can do this, but maybe you want to use your own textures. That is also a possibility. So let's start with the tree. I mean, with, let's start with the leaves first. So have your leaf selected and go to shading. I found some leaf and branch textures on the internet. You can download them to your computer. Once you're on your computer, you can drag the texture onto Blender shading tab, then drag the color in the base color and go to UV editing. You can see that the leaves are still selected in edit mode. By the way, if you misclick, you can click one uh, leaf again and then A to select everything. And then you want to move these around with G to grab and then fill in the space a bit to cover the leaves a bit better like this. And now, when you scroll and you look back on the material preview. So let's select this. You can see the texture applied to this leaf. So, for example, when I select this one, I can also rotate this, scale this out, and you can fix this as you please. Now, I'm pretty happy with this one. Now, let's do the same for the branch. So I have your branch selected, but there is a problem. We go to shading. By the way, you can just drag in your branch texture, that won't be a problem. But in the UV editing or the material preview, you don't see the texture applied. Go back to layout, have your mesh selected right here. And that is the problem. It is actually not a mesh. When you hit Shift A, we start with the curve. But we can, we need a mesh. To do that, we go to Object, go to Convert, Mesh. And now into Edit Mode, this is now a mesh. And now we can apply UV to this. So go to UV editing, 
select your trunk, A to select everything, and then hit U, and then Smart UV Project, and hit OK. Now, if for some reason this doesn't show up, you have to put it back to the branch texture. And now I can also rotate, scale it, and fit it as you need. And then back into layout, you can see that the materials are applied. The leaves also have the textures and there is wind into our tree. This is how you can basically edit and tweak your very own trees inside of Blender.